is ready for some more bloody combat here in Splatterface. I know I am, and from the sounds of it, you bearded bastards are too. Well, down in the pit today, we have a duo of interesting fighters who look to be getting a little <laughs> impatient. Wielding a highwood bow and a bundle of iron arrows, a leather-clad friend of the forest, I give you Battleglade, the elf. Facing her, we have our strangest competitor, with a face shielded by a mask of gold and wielding a razor-sharp long blade, Kulak, the Eye-Eye Man. You know, Battleglade, as an elf, has been voted least likely to succeed here in Splatterface. But who doesn't love an underdog? In fact, I'm saying if any of her arrows hits its mark, then the match is over. The Eye Eye Man had better close that gap fast. And, uh, hold up a second. What is, oh, dear gods. The mask is off and, wow, what a sight. This has to be Kulak trying to rattle the elf. Time will tell whether this tactic has worked or not. I know it worked on me. Ugh. Well, my bastards, are you ready? Let's do this. Round two, commence. Straight at the start, an arrow takes flight, but is deftly blocked by the Eye Eye Man. Amazing reflexes there. And fast footwork, Kulak rushes in as Battleglade fumbles with her bow. Too late, the gap is closed just as another arrow is fired but it too is a miss. Kulak charges into Battleglade and the two tumble. The elf stands up, but oh, she's back down. Kulak delivers a savage strike to Battleglade's foot and her hand as well. The elf is fighting back, but it is just no good at this point. This is going to be it, I think. Oh, a brutal strike to the elf's belly has sent her innards spiraling out onto the arena floor. A grisly sight. But her suffering has come to an end with a final devastating strike, freeing her head from her shoulders and bringing the round to a close. The Eye Eye Man Kulak has put down Battleglade. But now for our timer, which I'm sure Kulak will conquer just as easily. Victory! Kulak the Eye Eye Man has won the bout with an amazing display of agility and savagery. Let's hear it, you bastards. I was really thinking and kind of hoping this creepy contestant would not pull through, but I can admit when I'm wrong, a glorious battle it was. Well, congratulations, Kulak. Wait, hold up a second here. It looks like Kulak is calling over one of our arbiters, motioning, having a bit of a heated discussion, and I think I know exactly what it's regarding. You see, after last round, the foul Blendak Shagget claimed Kushnil's bronze helmet as his own, and has been rather loath to give it up. Since then, there's been a bit of a debate behind the scenes between some of our more rowdy entrants who think the winner of a round should be able to take their fallen opponent's gear to use in the arena. And, well, seeing as how we've yet to pry the helm from Shagget's grip, and also that this new change of rules will certainly mix things up. So be it, but with a bit of a compromise. The winner of each round may take a single piece of equipment from their fallen foe to use for the duration of Splatterface. Just one piece, that's it. And it looks like Kulak has already chosen his reward, the Gloves of Battleglade, which will most certainly not be able to fit over his enormous fingers, but Hell, we'll get our best leather workers on the job. You've earned your prize today, Kulak. As for the fallen elf's battle-torn body, it will be carted back to her forest home with all the trappings of a true dwarven hero. Yes, that's right. She went down swinging and Battleglade certainly deserves our respect. After all, her defeat today may have come down to a single missed shot. Just goes to show you how things go in the arena. Kulak, excellent fighting today. We all look forward to seeing your lightning quick blade at work the next round, where I'm sure you'll put on a beautiful bloody display once more. Now, my bloodthirsty bastards, I hope you're beginning to see what Splatterface is all about. Chaos, glory, and yet we've only just barely scratched the surface. The next bout is between the filthy gremlin known as Peebo and the lustrous Lady Whitefur. Remain eager. 
This is sure to be a fight to remember.